Hello everyone, in this uh, tutorial we're going to be discussing uh, two example problems on a Tustin discretization model. I'm going to solve the first one, I'm going to leave the second one for you guys to solve it uh, at home by yourself and I'm presenting already the, uh, its solution in the document. Okay? Uh, the, what is the Tustin discretization model? The Tustin is just a way to, uh, uh, to convert a continuous time transfer function to a discrete time transfer function using uh, a, a specific discretization uh, model or a specific approximation model. How is that going to happen? You just remove the s and put 2 over the sampling time multiplied by z minus 1 over z plus 1. Okay. So uh, in this problem we would like to determine the uh, transfer function uh, in the discrete uh, time domain, uh, the discrete time, time transfer function that corresponds to the uh, test in discretization of this continuous function h of s. Okay? And it's asking me to, to choose a suitable sampling time and justify it. Okay? And uh, compare it to the case when t s is equal to 0 0.01 seconds. Right? As well as compare it to the forward Euler and the backward Euler example. So we have already solved this problem for the forward Euler and the backward Euler. Uh, before and if you have not seen it before you can have a look at the video in the description and it, it basically answers as well the uh, how to to find the suitable time and and to justify it so i'm just going to continue based on that let's assume that you uh, know why the, the ts equals one second is a good justification of the uh, of this uh, of the sampling time for the Tustin model Okay. The same justification is, is, is valid for forward and backward Euler and is explained in the video in the description of the forward and backward Euler examples. Okay. So let's continue and, and solve this problem. We want to remove h of s and put a discrete time system. How am I going to do this? I'm going to move each s and put 2 over t s, z minus 1 over z plus 1. 2 over 1, z minus 1 over z plus 1. Okay and you get you obtain this value okay and this actually transfer function is the final uh, expression but if you would like to reduce it and uh, make it more convenient uh, then you could simplify it further by multiplying up and down by z plus one all squared and this becomes the final expression that you're interested in okay but remember that if you would like to make sure that what you have obtained is correct using matlab you could do this using MATLAB and write th down these commands. You feed the transfer function command, uh, tf, you feed to it the numerator and the denominator of the, uh, the h of s. Okay? 1 over 2, and the convolution between the coefficients of this parentheses and this parentheses. Okay? It gives, gives you the transfer function. And then you feed this transfer function to the command c to d, continues to discrete and one and make sure that this is Tustin. Okay, so this is going to, uh, the answer that you're going to see is this answer. Okay, which means that the z squared has a coefficient of one. Okay, not a coefficient of 55 as it is the case here. And that's why I need to divide up and down by 55 to make sure that the answer that I obtained is the same as this answer. Okay, so that's the way to do it using MATLAB. Okay, to make sure that your answer is correct. Let's compare it to the case of t equals 0 0.01 on MATLAB. So at, the case, at that case, I'm going to depend just on MATLAB and plot that. As you can see, this is the plotting of the case of the continuous and the discrete, both the t equals 1 and t equals 0 0.01. For the t equals 1, that's the continuous, that's the blue curve. Okay? And for the t equals 1, that is the red curve. And the yellow curve is the, the t equals 0 0.01. And as you can see, of course, the t equals 1, uh, the, maximum, uh, the maximum frequency that it can represent is at the uh, t as at 3.14 radians per second. Okay? And for the 0 0.01, it is 0 0.0314 radians per second. Uh, or like the inverse of that. Uh, 314 radians per second. That's the maximum uh, frequency that can be represented by 
the 0.01. And as you can see, of course, it is better, a better discretization model, but at the expense of the sampling frequency. So you're going to gather more samples, and that's why it's, uh, it's going to take, it's going to consume more space. And of course, for the for the case of the frequency, uh, for the case of the phase, as you can see, the phase of the blue, I don't know if you can see it, but the phase of the blue coincides with the, fa the, with the phase of the yellow, right? So the yellow is the t equals 0.01, and the blue is the continuous, and the uh, red is very far from that, okay? Let's compare it with the forward Euler and backward Euler. Forward Euler, you uh, obtain it by the transfer function, then by linear command, okay, and SS command, right? So that's the way that we obtain the transfer function. Uh, and then you feed it, you feed this transfer function to a, that's of course the discrete model, you feed this transfer function to the body plot, and then plot that, okay? So that's the plotting. That's the uh, magnitude and the phase. And let's uh, zoom in. You're going to get a value for the magnitude for the Tustin very, very, I'm sorry, for the phase, for the Tustin very, very close to the continuous uh, phase, uh, the continuous case, the phase of the continuous case. But the forward and the backward order, the, fa the phase are very, uh, are deviating a lot. Okay. However, for the magnitude, it's the other way around. And the phase comes at the expense of the performance in the magnitude. The magnitude, you have the Tustin is extremely far from the continuous case, while the, t, uh, the forward Euler and the backward Euler are, pre, uh, are closer than the case of the Tustin. Okay? I'm going to leave to you guys this example problem. It's the, it has the same essence as well, but here the coefficients are different. I'm going to leave it up to you guys to, to leave it to you guys to solve it yourself, and I'm providing you with the final answer. Okay, make sure that the final answer is correct and uh, compare it to the answer in the document. The document is provided in the description of the video below, and uh, make sure to have a look at it. And if you need to have a look at the Arabic version of this video, it's in the description of the video as well. Make sure to share this video if you found it useful. Uh, most likely other people need it as well. Thanks for your attention.